Sagittarius, why are you so mysterious, baby? What is going on with you, my dears? It is me, bra. It is she, bra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you all know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of May 2020. Show me the money energy. I hope all of you guys have been rested and feeling highly blessed during this, uh, I guess, quarantine time <laughs> that we're going through so i know everyone's been getting pleasantly plump and then been enjoying family and just being around people that they love and things like that and just been relaxing and chilling a little bit um i hope everyone has been safe and just not in worry because everything is going to be all right honey we are all protected during this time so um shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked this video thank you so much for coming through and showing love um i want to give a shout out to every last one who has supported this channel during this time and um during my whole time um on youtube um we got a lot of new love that's coming in the building and um we have a brand new deck that just came in so this is the muse tarot deck all right i was expecting this to come on the full moon in scorpio but i got it a little bit early so spirit gave me a nice pleasant surprise so i am so happy to have this and thank you so much to every last one of you guys who has uh Click this 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 video, like, share, and subscribe. Who has booked a personal private reading and who has sent any type of donations, love offerings to the page because these videos resonated. I appreciate each and last one of you guys. So, and we got a a, a, a nice big batch of new decks coming in thanks to one of my supporters by the name of um I believe it's Mr. Jeff. I believe Mr. Jeff. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much to every last one of you guys again. If there's anybody that would like to book a personal private reading with me, only thing you got to do is connect with me on Instagram. Just click the, uh, about tab on my YouTube page. It has my Instagram link. It has my pricing list. It has various ways. If you would like to send support and love to the page for you to connect with me, it has my email. If you do not have Instagram, you can utilize my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And for video chat for the readings if you do not have an Instagram you can use my email and download Google Hangouts and we can just exchange email and that's all we need okay so let's get into this energy and number one first and foremost let's give the creative thanks and let's thank him for this blessed abundance and this full harvest and this full belly that we've been experiencing <laughs> Everyone's like, Red Tide, I gave about 15 pounds. Listen, we've been getting nice and, and thick and delicious. Okay, we don't get, listen, we looking real good out here, Father. <laughs> Thank God we got enough food to eat to gain a little bit of weight, okay? So let's give thanks. Father God, thank you so much for, um, covering us uh during this time thank you so much for blessing the sign of sagittarius you know that they are fire shine you know that they're always planning a few steps ahead you know what i'm saying so um thank you so much for careful planning and just trying to figure out ways to just you know make our next step our best step and we stepping up the step ladder of success father god and we're halfway to the way of glory where we really trying to be father god we have just been doing some careful planning and some careful movements okay We've been moving some furnitures. We've been moving certain people out of the way. We've been actually moving our uh, location. We've been doing a lot of moving during this time. So help us keep moving, Father God, because our steps have been provided, Father God. And we thank you so much for just, you know, just showing us the way, Father God, and, and, and showing us to believe in ourselves and continue, continue to look at that man in the mirror and believe in that person and love that person and just, you know, continue to desire for that person that we see in that mirror to just focus on our well-being and doing the right things and allowing the universe to just bring everything naturally to us that's supposed to be to us in the name of the father son and the holy spirit thank you so much again for just you know all, all of the lessons that we went through in the past present and future because it helped us be where we are now and what we know today and how we operate today father god and we operate in a state of abundance happiness and wealth and growth and success we claim in all of the victory father god so give us uh strength to day and thank you so much for our fruit and daily bread and nourishment every day father god please give us guidance for the sign of sagittarius all right for the month of may and thank you for today and every day and we thanking you right now for all of the blessings that are laid and on our footsteps ahead on this journey amen amen so 
let's get on in let's use this uh unicorn deck okay shout out to all my unicorn girls out here my pink power rangers all right what's going on yes girl let's see what we're going on in your world let's see what type of things y'all doing in may give me guidance and you for sagittarius thank you so much all right Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> High fire. Passion. Come on now, Sagittarius. Come on. Y'all say, listen, I have got to go. We got to get up out of here. I got some shit to do. <laughs> do you hear me? Yes, honey. It says, do what excites you. Get fired up about life. Increase your energy levels. Come on. Saggy, are you not in your zone, honey? You were well sitting on your throne right there with that passion. Come on now. What's under here? And celebrate is at the is at the bottom of the deck. Come on, passion and celebrations. Come on. I am with you all of the way, baby. I, I'm look, I'm not even about to argue with you. It's a celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievement. Come on. You see that big moon back there with that intuition fired up, okay? Looks like you got some fiery intuition. You got that uh, uh, crown chakra all together. Mm-hmm. All your juices flowing in the right direction. Let's get into her, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's get into her. So, let's find out what's going on. What are we celebrating right now? What do we have the passion to do right now, Father God? Tell us what's going on with the sign of Sagittarius, Father. We thank you so much. Yes, I see all of them owls right there. Oh. All right. So you guys are just night creatures a little bit. Y'all are not morning people. <laughs> Y'all are night owls. And it seems like y'all just want to fly the coop a little bit. You want to get out and celebrate. You want to go out and enjoy yourself a little bit. Come on. Ooh, come on. Impress. Girl, we down to impress. Now, girl, now, 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 now listen. You know that full moon is Scorpio. It's coming up. You better. <laughs> Especially if y'all got a lot of Scorpio in y'all child. Oh my goodness, y'all better watch out before y'all end up. Mm. <laughs> Listen, you know you fertile like murder. You better watch it. Listen, you better put it on clank clank, okay? You better put it on clank clank, girl, because you out there being passionate and you celebrating. Oh, you about to celebrate right on into the goddamn um, OBGYN, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you is. Girl, fertile like myrtle. What you do? Ooh, the high priestess. And look, you said it was time to come on out, girl. I was tired of sitting up in this house, quiet as a mouse. You already know the high priestess been keeping herself to herself. She been minding her business. She been studying. She been figuring out, listen, like I said, Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, girl? Why are you so mysterious? Listen, girl, you got that vibe. She got that vibe. Mmm, vibe. Mmm. Listen, y'all know I said in the... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I said in the um when I be doing the weekend spread, the Pink Power Ranger weekend edition. Y'all know that the, the uh, men was saying y'all been keeping that good poom poom up in the house, okay? Being all mysterious and shit, and they was real curious why you was keeping that good stuff up in the house, girl. You got that vibe, girl. Listen, <laughs> okay? The high priestess in the reverse is so listen. I am tired of being secluded by myself. I'm tired of like. Just being to myself and just like studying to me. The high priestess is someone in, that is in full thought and just like using her highest intuition to study and uh, figure out all of the mysteries in the world and, 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 and figure out how everything tick and how everything is supposed to go and understanding people and being able to look through things intuitively and use her intuition and, and things like that, strengthening all of those skills and everything like that. So with that high priestess being in the reverse, um, this is someone who is... Um, felt like her... Ma she felt infertile being 
kind of trapped in, indoors a little bit. It's just like it was weakening her skills and her ability to use her strength, to use her magic, to use her gifts, to use her power. Do you understand? So it's like if only for an hour, let me go out and show my passion and celebrate and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because um, being blessed with intuition and wisdom is a beautiful thing, but um, if you don't have anyone to share it with, if you don't have any um, earthly vibrations, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be trapped to yourself and being secluded all the time. It's like, it's time for me to get out and enjoy myself. Listen, they're tired of keeping their self being indoors, being guarded. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I know that I've experienced a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I am tired from a lot of the weight I've had or I mean a lot of the battles that I've had to face trying to get to the success and victory in my life but at the same time it's like I can't get to the fruitfulness of life being guarded I want to go celebrate so I mean you know let my hair down a little bit you know what I'm saying I feel like I I'm in safe keeping you know what I'm saying? I don't have to sit here and be a watchdog. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice little security system or whatever. It's good. Like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I know if I got to get back in battle, I'm not no punk. Mama ain't raised no punk, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get out there. You know, the Knight of Swords right here. The Knight of Swords is basically saying that um, you're realizing, like, time might be getting away from you. Um, I don't know why I'm, cause now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, like the watchtower in, uh, the Norman and a lot, the wa the watchtower is like, um, a standard, you know what I'm saying? A quality is standard, um, you know, and it actually means separation, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's another form of separation in the Norman deck and everything like that. And it's, um. Uh, Looking how time has got away from you. You know what I'm saying? You see how his 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 uh vehicle has got away from him. So it's like if I don't use my vehicle, it will get rusty. You know what I'm saying? And it will it will it will quickly move away from me. And it's like I won't be able to use it anymore if I don't use my magic, if I don't use my powers, if I keep myself indoors and I never use my motorcycle, it's gonna rust up and it's not, you know what I'm saying? That Knight of Swords, I feel like what that is saying, because it's like this person's vehicle is getting away from it. It's like, how did I allow that to slip under me? Because it's like, I'm supposed to be going where, where that's going. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did my carriage run off without me? Um, So I feel like what this is like, this is like a, um, like an onslaught of information. I feel like just kind of hitting you on a personal level. I don't feel like this is anybody rushing to you, trying to tell you nothing, trying to get no clarity and truth. I feel like this is like inner clarity and truth about, um, how much has slipped away and how much you want it back now. And it's like, you know, I can't. I can't sit here being guarded and allow things to continue to slip past me. I don't have time to waste. I'm visually sure and I, I, I'm very clear about that now. And it's like it's time for me to go out and experience life now. Like I want my roses now. So you know what I'm saying? Like I want my roses right now while I'm here. I don't want to wait till the last minute and... Mm -mm. Give me guidance here in regards to this celebration. Ooh. What is that? Ugh. Ooh, the dog. It's in the hearts. Okay. You guys are looking for loyalty. Loyalty. And I love puppies. I love cute little innocent puppies. I feel like you guys are looking for something that's real pure, something that's real innocent. They just said that they, um, something about being dainty. So it's like, maybe you want to dress real pretty and real dainty and real innocent. Or you want to attract a, a loyal, committed partner if you're masculine. Um, 
fire sign Sagittarius, you want to attract a, a very beautiful and um, loyal and dainty, attractive young lady. Um, the Ten of Hearts represents like it represents marriage, loyalty, commitment, like um, happy family, uh, emotional commitment on all high, on all high level. Oh, it says the snake uh, popped up over here. So, uh, the snake represents like seduction, trickery, or represents like the other, it could represent like the other woman or something like that. Give me guidance. And that says the queen. And the queen of clubs is like a. That is like a fire sign. That that is like that's a fire sign woman. It's like the Queen of Wands. It's like between the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn woman. You know what I'm saying? Or it could just be the other woman in a situation. Um, so let's see what is going on. Or it could just be seduction, but I don't necessarily like the snake in any type of reading give me guidance here in regards to oh you got the moon and then you got the rider okay so okay okay so the moon represents <laughs> the moon represents like fantasy it represents illusions it represents secrets it represents hidden energy um you know like a fairy tale, people um, kind of letting their imagination get in away with them a little bit. Like it can represent cycles. Um, the writer is like something unexpected, like you know, something unexpected, like showing up at your doorstep, and it's like an unexpected arrival, like someone coming to dedicate love uh it is it's like an expression of love almost you know what i'm saying um the eight of hearts represents like mutual attraction mutual affection like something that's very giving something that's very kind something where you feel extremely comfortable and you know so there could <sighs> y'all lord jesus So the way that this is reading to be now, if I just put all of this together, like, um, the dog can represent companionship, you know, um, it might have started off as an innocent situation, but there could very much be a secret looming around where someone is like, you know, <laughs> What is young man may be going to visit this other woman here. Um, and it may be a secret, maybe something hidden. Um, this is like someone that's a master in an art of seduction or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like this man is and then the nine of hearts that represents like wishes, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this it might be a secret that this man kind of desires and wishes to kind of like and make his moves towards this other woman. It's like uh, there might just be a secret companion right now, but at the same time, it's like maybe this person kind of give me more guidance about this. And then you got the damn stork that was trying to pop out here. So y'all pay attention to watch out for pregnancy clouds just popped out I wanted pregnancy the grave in the store okay and in the ring so all right I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all so I feel like that might be an unwanted pregnancy and that could be the high priestess in the reverse too because the high priestess could be like The high priestess in the reverse could be like a secret being exposed, like a secret pregnancy being exposed or um, someone being, yeah. Y'all, this just took a fucking turn once we went into this Lenormand shit right here. This shit really just took a turn. <laughs> this shit really just took a turn. Okay, so listen, if this part right here doesn't resonate with you, but this did... You guys stick to this energy right here, and this shit is probably someone else. 
You understand? Every part of the readings is not going to resonate with you because there's a lot of people watching. It could be someone that just literally, you know what I'm saying, hopped in and this part rep might be something that they knew in their intuition that they thought was going on. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, boom. We're going to keep it going. This stork came out in the reverse. The high priestess in the reverse represent like a loss of pregnancy or someone being barren or a child being overdue or overdue pregnancy or something like that. Okay, so with this being said down here, all right, the clouds, the grave, okay, the ring in the reverse. So and then the stork did come out in the reverse when it first came out. So if I'm going to read it like that, like there could be like a woman. Like a night of passion and celebrating and things like that. She might could have unexpectedly got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It might be a situation where it was a secret. She might have been the other woman. It was just a companion. Like it's just like. It's like a love affair. Like you know what I'm saying? This person just kind of like rides in and out and stuff like that. Um, you know. Just, they were granting each other's wish in a sacral in a sexual way you know what I'm saying like some people do kind of get off on like having secret love affairs it's like a thrill do you understand what I'm saying like that's what it seems like um I don't feel like this was a pregnancy that someone expected here I don't feel like this was a pregnancy that someone expected or wanted because with the clouds it seems like they already knew that it was going to be problems and stress and something like that because clearly this person is the other woman okay the grave this person could have got rid of the pregnancy because off the break they already knew that there was not going to be no commitment um given in this relationship right here you know um yeah because the ace of clubs represents like a new beginning you know what i'm saying so this person um with this high priestess in the reverse is basically saying like she could have just with the Empress, she could have just, like, redesigned her world. You know what I'm saying? She could have just rebirthed her new world or her new, you know, her new form of existence. She could have just changed the way she dressed, changed the way she looks. She might have changed a lot about herself and re just designed her whole image and just blossomed into this beautiful Empress. You know what I'm saying? And it might have took some time for her to get to this place, you know, and she might have been keeping herself hidden from the world while she was going through this transformation with that high priestess and now she's deciding to come out and it's like one night of passion could have <laughs> you know because she was out celebrating because she's been secluded to herself trying to let her guard down because time is slipping away and everything like that and she knows that that's the truth within herself and you know she could have unknowingly been the other woman you know what I'm saying and this visitor this person has been her companion during this time she might have found out that she was the other woman and ended it. They might have terminated the pregnancy too, y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get into... Oh, I can't get into you just yet. I can't get into you yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me you. <laughs> Lord, this is getting juicy, honey. Mm. Passion and celebration. Turns to pregnancy and decisions, honey. Good Lord. Finding out about secrets and honey. Someone knew it was going to be dark clouds and disaster just coming on in. Mm -mm. It's like I didn't see this shit. I ain't see this shit coming. Let me just get the hell up out of this. Yes, someone that said I'm 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 good on my own. Like I got enough coins to sustain myself. I'm okay. I'm really, I'm really, 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 really okay. And then with this page of cups here, this could have been like a very, very new, uh, uh, like, like a brand new, like kind of love situation. You know what I'm saying? So this could be something that might have just started. You see this girl, she has this bird on her hand. You see, you know, this could have been some new communication as you just kind of got single and like stable on your own and it, you know might have been like a it seemed like a fresh start and, and new emotional uh 
commitment offer, but just at a page level, it was something that wasn't that much for you to cook, hold on, but just kind of take a sip. But it's like, you met me and I was good, and I'm just starting to kind of regain my stability and everything like that. I'm just kind of offering, my, I'm just kind of getting back out there. So I feel like this might have been like the first offer you know what I'm saying like the first kind of fish like they say there are many fish in the in the pond like don't just take the first offer like I feel like this might have been just like the first offer did that flip back in it sure that did the high priestess in the reverse again the high priestess in the reverse again like I feel like this is a secret that you guys are scared that might get out. Um, that you feel like might mess up. Because the high priestess in the reverse, this might mess up your credibility or your reputation in some type of way. Um, this might mess up your reputation. Yeah. It's like you're caught up in a crossroads where it's like you got to kind of make a decision to go left or go right. But it's like still an unwillingness to kind of see things clearly, see things like through for some reason. Clarify this, please. The two. The temperance. Temperance card just came out. So it's like you're just trying to... It's like you're putting all your hope into like your faith and stuff like that that you could try to figure a way out of this thing to make the right decision or something like that. I think this has something to do with should you or should you not terminate this pregnancy to like kind of keep this thing under wraps, keep this thing kind of secret. Did anything else fall down? No. Um, because I feel like your faith kind of wants you to do something else you know what I'm saying I, uh, I just I really just but I feel like at the same time it's like you might not see any other way out and it's like you your financial security is very important to you and I really do feel like this might have been the first person that you might have kind of got involved with since you kind of kind of start getting yourself back out there and it's like you you you're trying to balance your faith right now and, and, and make the right decision. Um, because I don't know if you knew that you were the other woman or not. I feel like that was a secret that might have been hidden from you. Because I feel like this was just like... <laughs> I don't I don't know if this was meant to be that serious. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, please give me... Please give me guidance of the outcome for this decision that should be made give me guidance around this outcome around this decision in this love situation she's trying to whoever this woman is is trying to hold on to this secret it says protection you're spiritually protected right now i feel like just like um focus on your values and things like that and Things will kind of just work itself out. Like, oh my! They're telling me to just kind of sit down and just sit down and just like dominance, having to take life. Your it's like you being in control right now is very important to you. You know what I'm saying? You really have to sit down and just, you know, number one, you, you're you protected in everything that you do. Right? But like pregnancy terminations and all of this stuff like that, I don't feel like this is naturally in someone's soul. But it's like, I don't want to be a secret and I don't want this to be exposed because I don't even think. That this person even knew about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she thought that this was innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like an innocent, you know, uh, companion. You know, situation right now. Circles, cycles, and things like that. Like I feel like you should have wore protection. 
You know what I'm saying? You should have wore protection. Yeah, it like if you would have wore protection and things like that, I feel like it would have like oh, what is this? Ooh! Then you got the hit and young. I'm trying to tell you. If you would have wore protection, you wouldn't have had to hide anything. It would have like completed whatever. I feel like maybe this has to do with because the high priestess in the reverse is like still someone that might be um The high priestess in the reverse could be someone sneaky, someone that is doing something that they know that they shouldn't do. That could be, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it could very much so be someone that is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And you knew, you could have known that you was the other woman and probably should have stopped, you know? Um... And then whatever you was doing, it's like you weren't wearing protection. Like, if you would have walked protection, like, and if you, I feel like if you, instead of being at the two of swords sitting down with that blindfold on, like, not able to take life by the handles and take dominance of the situation. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like that, it's like you... I feel like this is a lesson that you should have learned before because the high priestess in the reverse could be someone that um, isn't trusting her intuition, isn't trusting in her own strength and her own magic and her own powers or not using her magic and her powers and her intuition for her highest good. You know what I'm saying? It's like you intuitively knew that this was wrong but you kept doing it anyway you understand being sneaky and and deceitful and and do you understand what i'm saying the snake represents seduction and you know what i'm saying like all that type of sexual stuff on that type of way being like sexual <laughs> being controlled by your sexual urges and things like that do you understand what i'm saying so, and it could mean slithering around, sneaking around and things like that. So, if you knew, do you understand what I'm saying? So, this means cycles to me. I feel like whoever went through this, they've been through something like this before. You know what I'm saying? And the high priestess in the reverse means you you not learning the lesson. It's like you being hard-headed, you still not... Because you got the high priestess in the reverse twice. You know what I'm saying? So the first time I'm just like, okay, you know, you might have reinvented yourself. You feeling beautiful. You feeling lovely. You feeling passionate. You know what I'm saying? You ready to go out and celebrate. You tired of being stuck in the house. I'm with that. But when you get that shit again, when you get that shit again, and I keep in a, with this, and then the hidden, no, 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 Someone very much so knew that they was the other woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you should have wore protection. And if you would have wore protection, you wouldn't be having to make these decisions and go through these cycles and things like that. You know? Listen, orbs of light, the spiritual realm. It's like whoever this is, you already have access to the spiritual realm. You know, listen, the high priestess in the reverse, you know better. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to scold anybody or anything like that. But I'm just I'm just keeping it 100 with you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you you know better. <laughs> you very much so know better. You were probably raised around, you know, very spiritual and intuitive people. Where it's like, you very much so know better. You knew what you was doing. And sometimes you got to... And remember... and. The nine, of, the nine of wands in the reverse is someone that's not protecting themselves. And like I said, they might be getting some hard information right now because things is getting a little bit out of control. Things are getting beyond their reach right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a hard truth right now. A personal, you know what I'm saying? Hard truth in the situation of the matter. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not nobody else coming to you telling you something. That's the world. That's your world getting out, out, out of, away from you. And then also look at look at how the um, 
Look at how the crow was flying away too. So like that could be your intuition. That could be your gift like leaving you because, you know, you spiritually know better. And it's like you choosing to, to do things that could possibly hurt other people. And if you, you, you choosing to use your gift in that way, you don't deserve it. You understand what I'm saying? So, and... As you can see, it's like this person, you see how he got his arrow and things like that? Like, this person is like naturally a hunter and things like that. And, you know, very informative, very skilled, very knowledgeable, you know what I'm saying? But I don't see any more arrows there. So it's like you, you don't have any more arrows and it's like your transportation has been removed from under your feet. So you can't get as far as you were meaning to go. Um... I feel like someone is having to really sit down and kind of look at certain things right now. Listen, refusing to see. Listen, refusing to see. So, and this would be in the reverse. This represents a real stubbornness. You know, like, really, you know better. Like, you really do know better. <laughs> you know better. And, and, and then look at his helmet. It has the third eye right there. You know better. You know better. What is this? Believing and succeeding. So, believed and succeed. So, this right here represents the crown chakra. And this is the number six. So, it represents, the number six represents really obligations and responsibilities. You know, and harmonious love relationships, you know, so no love relationship should come with any type of secrets. You know, it should be the ship should be sailing straight. You know, it should be sailing straight. So if you believe you can succeed, you understand, um, Financially, you guys are in a safe place. You guys have been doing very well in yourself, but I feel like in personal, in your love relationships, I don't. I, I feel like you might be refusing to see something here. And what is this? The blossom? Yeah, you guys are pregnant. I don't give a damn. Like, come on, bruh. And some of you guys are most definitely listen. Simply love. I feel like the most important thing is that, um, again, giving and receiving. You guys need to find a relationship where the love is like very simple and harmonious in all aspects. It should be no secrets. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like that might be something that you're refusing to see. Like, even if there is like a passionate thrill and everything like that. If you got to sneak around in any type of way and then still not even, you know, get the commitment, like that's just like, mm-mm. Because the writer with the secrets and like, like this is someone just sliding in just to get, just to get it and, and, and slide out and go home to whoever they call home. You know? And y'all have a burden of this information getting out. Like, y'all really, really, really are scared of someone finding out about this pregnancy. But y'all are indeed fucking pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And... Mm, mm, mm. What's this? Reaching out in the reverse. So, um... And right now, y'all... Oh my goodness, this is worrying me now. This is really worrying me. So I feel like whoever this is that you might have blossomed and created this thing, like this this child where I don't even feel like y'all are even reaching out to each other right now. I don't know if you are scared to reach out to this person um, and tell them this. This man may already have a child or something like that. Um, I feel like there's some hesitancy. Like, shit really got out of control. Shit really just, like, got too carried away. 
and now this shit is like beyond you a little bit like you should like you should have worn protection like you really should have worn protection um give me some guidance here I feel like someone is like I'm kind of getting this cuts up here and it's like someone has been kind of looking for someone to be a good father or something I feel like someone but like has daddy issues a little bit you know what I'm saying I don't know if it's like this person has a lot of boys or all their pregnancies they have a lot of male children or something like that and it's very important for a man to be there to raise or father to be there with his son and things like that um I'm, I'm kind of getting like a six of cups. I really, really do. I feel like... I am really do getting like some childhood issues here. I really am. And that's some shit that you're really not seeing too. Like some people need to deal with some childhood uh, daddy issues. What is this? The nine of emotions. So I feel like right now you floating on high. Um, I feel like someone is getting like an emotional thrill and chill and a spill um because this could be someone just drunk and high off of you know what i'm saying having their emotional needs being met right now you know what i'm saying so um and then it, it could be someone i'm, I'm here oh my goodness um this could be someone, like, I don't know if every time that you around, whoever you're around, if y'all do, like, a lot of drinking and things like that. Um, that's a, oh, whew, honey. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords, honey. The seven of swords definitely means someone that was doing something underhanded and sneaky. Somebody's going to get caught. And this is like someone having to defend themselves right here. And it's like you might have been, you might have got too full of yourself. It might have been too high. Like to me, like the nine of cups, even though this is in the upright, but it, it, it can mean like you could have been being too full of yourself where... You might not have been paying attention. It could have been being sloppy. You know what I'm saying? The way she's floating right here, it's like, you know, she's getting a lot of positive energy and shit from her crystals where she's not paying attention. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like in a daze and like a deep trance or meditation of just like emotional fulfillment where she's not paying attention. And it's like, I feel like you might have, you know... This nine of inspiration. This is the nine of wands. Up there, it was the nine of wands in the reverse. It's like someone not having a barrier, someone not having protection. And now this is you are having to put up protection. And now you are having to put up a barrier because it seems like secrets from your dark side has got out. You see this girl? Secrets from her dark side done got out. You understand what I'm saying? So now you're having to protect yourself and defend yourself against like communication the nine of wands comes after the eight of wands the eight of wands means a lot of communication the eight of wands can mean gossip you know what i'm saying the eight of wands can mean an onslaught of you know what i'm saying drama and things like that and now it's like you really you know what i'm saying it's like now people really about to see a different side of you because you know i feel like you were only trying to get your emotional needs yeah, you know what I'm saying and I, it might have just been a couple of nice passions where you were just out celebrating and things like that I don't feel like you were really taking it this seriously but I do feel like someone was sneaking around and it was definitely a female that was doing this this is a female this is a female doing this so I don't know if this is a Sagittarius man that is dealing with this you got the star card so the star card means like Someone that is like publicly known or something like that. The hangman in the reverse. So, um, the star card basically means like you have a certain reputation. You have, uh, 
you have a certain reputation you have a certain character you have a certain like what am i trying to say they're trying to say dignity and faith yeah you have a certain like character dignity and faith like you're the star like i feel like people look up to you and you know what i'm saying I feel like people look up to you and like you you really shouldn't be hung up this way and whatever situation this is kind of getting caught out there like that. I really do feel like someone is kind of getting caught out there like that having to defend themselves because they might have been too drunk. You know what I'm saying? They might have been too over consuming. You know what I'm saying? It's like um, excess. You know what I'm saying? You doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like... Where shit was spilling, spilling over, like you were leaving little traces and shit where it's like people were finding out about shit because you were doing too much. And it's like you really should not be hung up and, and suspended in a situation like that because I feel like it's like publicly going to to um, be exploited or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like the stars being left out to dry, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, man. It's like you need to get down off of whatever this shit is and think about, think about who you are. You know what I'm saying? Think about your faith. Think about all of the wisdom, all the people that look up to you. Think about, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, goodness gracious. So what is this? Lightning. Ooh, unexpected shit. Heartbroken. Lord Jesus. I feel like you're going to be unexpectedly heartbroken. It says deeply sad separation and breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So someone's going to hit someone as unexpectedly and it's like the time moment. It's like you knew, listen, the boat, it's like there's going to be a sudden stop in those frequent visits. It's like it's going to be just over suddenly. Suddenly, like everything's going to be shut down. No conversation. They don't like. They don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Not today. It says not dealing, hurt, avoiding, seduction. So it says not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person. Boundaries. Still angry. So no more travel. Person still angry. Seduction. I think this means third party says attraction, flirt and date and hooking up, temptation, a third party interference. So it's like, especially if there's like someone, like someone might not be able to come visit you no more and take your calls anymore because it's a third party situation. But I do feel like you were in love or someone is in love, but it's a karmic situation and someone's trying to get out of a karmic situation. Bleeding. Triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So this karmic thing is, is in the reverse. It's like you need to get out of this 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 thing and just like, even though you love this person, like it's a karmic situation. Clearly, it's a third. Like, come on, bro. All right. Last words of wisdom. Hmm. Someone's passion and celebration turns into like a karmic love affair. I don't know if you guys work with each other, but it looks like someone's being seduced at work and things like that. Look, someone being seduced at work or something like that. Let me just real quick. What's the advice? advice the hierophant in the reverse so yeah um i definitely feel like there's going to be a breakup it was not a traditional love love relationship it was most definitely a love affair with someone was the third in a separation or some shit like that what the fuck oh <laughs> i'm like what the hell? open the door with your dad okay all right, so real quick, 
This is saying the Eight of Swords. So it's like you feel trapped. You feel trapped and you don't know how to get out of this situation. Like, and it's like your legs and your, your eyes. It's like you really can't see or figure a way how to make a move. It's like you're mentally just, you feel bound. The Three of Swords is like you're trying to envision and make plans to leave everything behind and just move forward into a new existence. But it's like you don't. I feel like you can't see a way out of there. The Emperor. The Emperor represents like a boss or something like that so again this could be your supervisor this could be like someone that you like i said an authority figure someone that has some like higher level position at a job i really do feel like these are people that work together in the knight of pentacles so um this could be loss of employment you guys so i feel like your supervisor oh my god i'm really listening then the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck god jesus y'all i pray to god don't none of y'all lose y'all job behind this shit yeah i think somebody's boss is going to come in and fire and fire you guys someone's boss is going to come through and let someone go it's like you want to try to figure a way out of this situation and move you on your own but i feel like before someone does like you're going to be it's like you're going to be sacrificed out of the situation. Listen, y'all, I got to go. I'm sorry about this information, but I love you. Love yourself and hit the like button if this resonated. If y'all want to book with me, hit me on Instagram. Peace.